fellas, how's it going? It's old Raptor Jesus here, back with my outdoor sur survival map, which I'm calling the Great Outdoors, which I don't think I said that last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't see, I changed it up a little bit. Uh, I just thought the, the brown dotted road was just really not visible. So I changed it to black, it's a lot more clear, I think. And I made all the forts red this time. So I thought this time we would probably uh, start adding the towns, which on the normal outdoor survival board game map, it's just like a bunch of cabins and houses and such. So we'll, according to Gary's advice and old white box, he says that all the towns are treated like settlements. Uh, make sure you always save. <laughs> <coughs> sort of funny I, I noticed the menus don't add up yeah so I decided like I wanted to add some uh, Indian settlements here on the edges of the map so I thought that would actually be kind of cool instead of normal you know wild west towns and such kind of just using like three size of town I'm using different icons to represent the size like the little house is gonna be like you know your hamlets and such and then the, or the house out the window, it's just like a, I don't know, I guess a hut. And I went with blue for the settlement, so they're easier to pick out for me. <clears throat> Adjust this a bit so you guys can see. Yeah, so, I figure the, any of the houses that are off the beaten path, they're just gonna be like tiny little hamlets and homesteads and such. Maybe they'll be like ranches. I'm not quite sure they're, you know, as I go, I'll probably like change my mind and what size they are. Maybe I'll add more roads just so it, it makes sense to me. This is supposed to be kind of a, a rural like frontier zone. So even these trails aren't even real roads. They're just wagon rut trails. <laughs> so a lot of this is still like real wild wilderness really. When she st it's just like I said in my first episode, it's just like in old D and D, you know. Like once you start getting outside the the safety of the town, it gets real dangerous out there. In this case, it's monsters. It's more that the wilderness itself is kind of hard to survive, you know. If you don't know where to look for water or shelter or anything like that, and if you don't have a horse, like you're likely to die out there. I also decided I wanted to change up this desert region to be more like a, a cactus zone. So, you know, you don't want to bring horses through here, so it would be perfect for, like, any sort of rebels and outlaws and such to hide out from the law in this area, I bet. If you know the secret path. <laughs> so, you gotta think about, I want to think about, like, those kinds of things, you know, for the game. And these like nice little interesting terrain features and such. Put these like lonely little homesteads and hamlets out here in the woods. These ones are a little bit closer to, to roads and such, but there's like interesting features out there. And this, this house over here is probably where I'll add a, the railroad, uh, or the starts of a railroad. So I think it would be interesting to have them, um, two different railroads at different edges of the map that are kind of trying to compete is, you know, the railroad wars were like a big thing with all the rail barons back in those days. I just want to add interesting things for the players to really like, because it's really on them and not on, on me or the, the referee in this situation. It's on them to kind of make interesting stories and things happen. Like you just sort of react sometimes. Sometimes, you know, a GM will 
will have their own little story they might want to add. I'm trying to get these houses as accurate as possible. Or these towns and such as, as the outdoor survival map. I don't want to deviate from it too much. So I, that's just more of a test. And, and right here I noticed that I did not have to find a special like TP icon, which is what I did, but uh, World Augur already has one. I just couldn't find it, I guess, when I was looking at first. I'm going to use this icon for a little bit bigger settlements. And this is actually, this one's going to be the starting city. This is like the city, and it'll be the only city on the map. Or city, quote unquote, because it's just really a big town. <laughs> but everyone in this area would call it the city. I head to the big city. I just thought that would be an interesting place for a starting zone. It's sort of in the middle, because I like to put my starting areas in the kind of the middle of the map, so players have lots of uh, range to go explore and such. And usually I don't have such a huge settlement as a starting town. I just wanted to... Just thinking about, like, all those Old West movies, you know. Where there's kind of the... The town with actual buildings instead of tents. <laughs> Which was quite common. I might add this uh, compass. I didn't notice this before. It's kind of cool. So eventually I want to add, like, kind of like a legend to the map, so... I know what all these icons mean, but I'm sure it's just, like, all Greek to you guys. Most of it's grassland, it's just all different, like, qualities of grass, if it's grazing or just normal grassland. And some deserts and such. I like having the different terrains. This doesn't really represent any real area in the west, it's just kind of like somewhere in the, in the wild west is the idea. Somewhere in the middle or so. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this compass, it just doesn't feel right. I think I added all of the, the settlements, you know, it's it's not much out here. Well, you know, the forts, they, they could be fairly large. You know, it could be a couple thousand guys there at most. There's probably like one fort that's like a thousand guys, to be honest with you. Just to keep it a little bit like not dissuade players from doing outlawry. <laughs> So I like to maybe run a, a slightly larger game on my, on my club that I have. Like in the old school days. I wasn't really around for that part of the old school. I kind of came in later times. And I joined a group of older D&D players when I was in high school. And they were playing like weird combination of kind of rule cyclopedia in first and second edition. Dad, we had a big party. Like we had like 13 people in that party sometimes, 14. Just, you know, like they're like all older guys so all their kids played. So it was like a pretty diverse group of people really. couple of the wives were actually the ones that brought their husbands and they thought that was nerd shit. <laughs> that was a good group of guys and gals to play with. I think this map's pretty much done so I'll see you guys next week when we finish alright? Alright I guess that's the rest of the video fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you liked my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe.
hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?